The Department of Theatre and Film Arts, the University of Jaws, was established in the early 70s. Because it started as a campus of the University of Ibada. The late Professor Sonny Oti was sent by the university administration to come and um, start the department as the just campus of the department in Nevada. So because UI then I was the only more or less uh, university that was mounting a course in drama <laughs> before it became a full-fledged department. As of today, the department runs a program that is designed to produce graduates graduates that will become experts in uh, the fields of theater, film, multimedia, cinematography, and other human endeavors, and become global leaders. We expect our students to be exposed to the theory and practice of theater and film arts. Um, for innovative, imaginative, action-oriented, and or creative performance. So I believe that is how we fit in into your area. That is the creative economy and the African hub for sustainable creative economies. Mm. Whether I consider our organization an intermediary or a creative intermediary, definitely. Our organization, the University of Georgia, is a creative intermediary in the sense that we are between the gown and town. There is a relationship between the town and gown. We are the gown because we are a tertiary institution. And the town is there, the people, the practitioners. So we offer training to develop our students. And in that sense, I believe we are creative intermediaries. Our course helps to develop and enrich artistic, dramatic, theatrical, um, filmic and intellectual potentials and talent of students in the entertainment industry. We also prepare students for careers in the academic and professional theater, drama and film studies while utilizing the rich cultural um, and traditions of Nigeria and Africa. In creating and producing both for the stage and the screen that we serve and service the entertainment and creative industry. So you can see that we are intermediaries. We give training to all manners of students. We have a diploma program in theater arts. We have degree, the bachelor's program. We have the master of arts program and the PhD in different areas. Whatever you do, your art, your creativity must have a locality before its globality. So, we connect the locality here, the global world, by ensuring that we teach our course content. What we teach here, that is our course content, aligns with the best, with the best global practice. 
and because we know that our gravity will not be limited to Nigeria or even to Africa, but they will also go beyond the shores of the continent. So that's how we are connected to the global. So our curriculum, of course, is well designed to give this leverage to our graduates. Changes of policies uh, that will help theater and performing arts sector in Nigeria. Well, I think change is a constant phenomenon. Not that I think, I believe change is a constant phenomenon. And our policies don't change overnight. So I think the lifespan of policies is uh, between five and ten years. Um, I'm not so sure now, but to be reviewing a policy every five years would be cumbersome. So the government um, basically uh, are the ones funding the program and the agencies in charge of theater, the performing arts. So in realization of the importance of theater, uh, as they always say, funds are limited because other sectors also require funding. So we believe we can overcome this challenge if we are able to get the private sector to key in into our vision and programs. And like I said, some of them have been responding. I remember many years ago, uh, I think a brand of Nigeria beauties, uh, that is uh, Amster Motor, one of their products, uh, was used to sponsor some productions on screen and even some TV reality shows and so on and so forth. Um, that beauty was not and is not owned by the government, per se. Uh, then there used to be a bank, I think uh, the Nigeria International Bank, so NIB. In those days, we were still students, undergraduate students, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they used to sponsor theatrical productions. Um, one of the people that directed such production was the late by Odunaye, was once upon a time the uh, the manager or so or the, the artistic director of the national troupe of nigeria um lately or recently femi or shofison also had a partnership a collaboration with another private sector outfit and they had some productions uh, there have been so many collaborations like that to overcome the challenges. So I believe that if we can encourage that, the theatre will be sustainable. 